This is too far here, just sitting on. Still haven't cleaned my room off. I remember, I do say, I did say, I promised you guys that I'd clean my room before the next video last time. But yeah, this time I'm gonna get a um, a thing for um, a link for Ryan Taylor's vlog, the uh, 24 hour trampoline park video. It is funny, they get baited out so bad, but this time, just to know how I'm going to keep in the camera range. You guys, I'm going to turn my light out. And I'm going to be doing this in the dark with nothing but the light on my phone to help me see you guys. So, without further ado, I'll turn my light off. And you'll got, you guys will be the only ones that can see me through that light. So guys, it is now dark other than that light in my room. It's restricted me to just there. If you can see just in that strip where my pill these are I've got my pillows there we'll get my teddy and i'll think of what moves to do i am wearing my liverpool shirt again my fur boots wearing my his liverpool shirt well let's go <laughs> so hmm Guys, you know how to do Bailey's finisher, obviously, because it's obviously grab the arm, pull, boom. I can show you how to do. I'll show you how to do Bailey's move. So basically, instead of getting them up for the AA, instead of doing that, so instead of doing this, you get them up like this, and then when they're up, you want to make sure their stomach is on. Your, or let's do the arc bit there again. Their stomach and their ribs are on your shoulder. And then you want to arm off. And as they come down, you want to throw your arms onto them and fall down. So it maximizes the impact. Inst it basically, boom. So I'll show you how to. I can show you how to do the AA. I'll show you how to do Kofi Kingston's SIS. So it basically. Arm again, you don't need their head this time. You pull them up onto your knees. But the key thing is with your knees, is when you get them up, you want to bend your knees slightly just to maximize grip on the floor. And then, when you, when you hit the AA, you want to bend your knees and throw them to the side slightly. You want to, so, basically. You need, when you come up, you're going to bend your knees, push them up, and you want your hand to push them all the way around and follow them going for, going around. It's harder when you've got someone on there, obviously, to do that. But if you're thinking, you want to go up, follow you on through, bang. Next one. Ah, frack it, I'll show you if you can since So, guys, main thing is, if you've been, if someone's got you like this to... Um, DDT you what you want to do is you want to throw your leg just round theirs when you've got it behind their leg you want to throw it forward and then as you do you want to bring it back and take them out as well and I'll show you what the full impacts look like look like it goes so obviously you bring them around boom and then they're down you're up and you can hit the boom drop which is which is basically you, run, you go run you stop, and then they drop, jump on them basically. Oh shit, shit, shit. Right, so, this time guys, let's see. Let's show you how to do Cesaro's move. So basically, you want to boom, kick him in the stomach, push him in between your legs. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I've shown you that, so I might as well show you a soul scratch. So basically, get them the same in your legs again, but this time, when instead of getting them up for like the power bomb, you go like this. You want to get their legs just there. You want to make sure they're dangling downwards. You want to arm under one leg. It's going to be a bit hard here. Arm under one leg. Arm under the other. Then you want to jump forward so they hit. 
the floor full. This bit of your body, you want to stop your head hitting the floor. But yeah. Uh, I'll show you how to the pedigree. So basically, you want to go purple position, you want to hook one arm, hook the other, and then you want to jump and land on your knees. This time, Tiger Bomb. Uh, ooh, it's called in the WWE games, but I call it WWE as uh, a Tiger Bomb as well. So basically, you want to get them in the pedigree position. But what I do to flake them is I go jump like I'm about to do the pedigree. But when I land, as I'm about to land, I throw them up and power bomb without them here. Key thing about Tiger Bomb: don't let their legs hit your shoulders. It is the key thing. So listen, watch. Watch in full speed. Do you want to go? Boom. Easy. Didn't hit. They didn't hit. Thing. So, guys, I'm, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do choke slam, tombstone pile driver, and stone cold stunner. So basically, Chokes on first, you grab them by the throat, arm over yours, up they go. The main thing you want to do is when you get them up, you want to throw your knees up as well. You want to throw your knees up and boom. You don't want to hit the ground. You don't want to hit the ground face first. So obviously when you choke, so there's the choke bit, arm over, choke. Some people just throw them on the floor like that. I wouldn't recommend it for maximum damage, I'd choke. Go fully down with it, but don't actually fall on the floor, as I almost said there. Tombstone pole driver, basically, if they're running at you, grab them like you're doing the big ending, like they're doing the Styles Clash, but the other way, and then Tombstone. Oh yeah, the Stone Cold Stunner. So basically, kick them in the gut, turn around, boom, Stunner. Easy. So, this... Bit of the video I'm going to show you how to do some submissions. So first one I'm going to show you guys is what's a Jericho. So basically, all you want to do, grab your le their legs, roll them over onto their stomach, and then you want to pull back on their legs and sit on their back because it hurts there, basically the spine. And when it's hit on you, trust me, you don't want, you don't like it. Next one I'm going to show you is Rusev, so basically, if you want to maximise damage, you want to stamp on this back first, not hard, you just want on their back, on there, on there, then you want to sit just like this, so their back, under your backside, you want one arm up, one, the other arm up, and you want to pull on their face, so obviously their back's there, their arms are hooked around your legs and their head is being pulled and pulled, pulled, pulled back. Next, I was going to show you thing, something weird other than the Wolves of Jericho, but it's basically the same self. So, the last one I'm going to show you is the page tap out. So, basically, you want to set them up as if you're getting them into the sharpshooter. Instead of going around and starting to go like that, you want to go around and then you want your other leg to come around and you want to stay like that with their legs like this. Then you want to pull both their arms up so their back is bridged and their legs are crossed to make it harder. And then obviously you're pulling on them and there, basically, their legs are like this. They're like, like this now. Like that. The, back, the backs are bridging, and you're also pulling on their shoulders. Shoulder bit wouldn't hurt me as much because I can dislocate my shoulder and relocate it easily. But, you know what? Screw what I said about the end of the video. I'm going to put my soul mask on now, and I'm going to do a fake WWE match for you guys. And let's go. So, 